So in this video we're going to have a look at the carbon cycle. This is a cycle showing the movement or the recycling of carbon throughout the different spheres of the Earth. So remember there are two different things that are represented within the carbon cycle. We have pores, which I am going to draw in this way. And then we have got the fluxes, which I'm going to indicate with an arrow. And then I will also label onto the arrow what that flux is actually showing. So remember a pool is a reserve or a store of the carbon. And then a flux is a transfer or a process that is happening to move the carbon from one pool to another pool. So we're going to start off with carbon dioxide. And this is in the atmosphere. Now remember when you are drawing your carbon cycle it's really important that you write carbon di dioxide out in full, you do not write CO2, otherwise you will not get a mark for that in your, uh, for your cycle. So another pool we have are the producers. We also have consumers. We have decomposers. And although these are all living organisms, these all have a storage of carbon within them. We also have fossil fuels. And we have the ocean. So these are our main pools of carbon within the carbon cycle. So now we're going to draw the different fluxes that are happening. So to begin with, we're going to start over here with the producers. So these are doing two processes. The first process, where carbon dioxide is being taken out of the atmosphere, is through the process of photosynthesis. But also remember plants are also releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through the process of respiration. In terms of the pool of producers, carbon is also taken from this pool by the consumers through feeding. And the consumers will also do respiration. Now with both the producers and the consumers, um, sometimes if a producer is not eaten, it might just die naturally. And therefore it will go to the decomposers and consumers also will go through death and decomposition. So the carbon is then used in the decomposers. So the decomposers will also do the process of respiration, so releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And dead organisms will also go through the process of fossilisation, very long process, so that carbon then joins this, the pool of the fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are then harvested or extracted by humans and then they are burnt and so this is combustion. So carbon is then released into the atmosphere through that process. Then a lot of carbon dioxide dissolves 
into the ocean through the process of ocean uptake. There will also be one final thing coming from the ocean back to the atmospheric carbon dioxide. So there will be a lot of organisms inside of the ocean that will be doing respiration as well. So that is a brief overview of the carbon cycle. There are many different versions that you will see on the internet, um, also on BioNinja and Cognity. They also have slightly different versions. This matches one of the mark schemes that is from a past paper for the IB. Um, and this is what I would draw for a nine mark question.